I'm out here picking some more dandelion heads to make some tea and tincture tinctures out of. Anyhow, I just thought that I'd uh, show you. Whoa, there's something big down there. <laughs> it's a chicken a rooster. Don't know what he's doing down here. Anyhow, uh, so I don't pick anything that I don't know what it is. Like this, I have no idea what this is. It looks like something, uh, a, a couple of wild edibles that I'm familiar with, but I don't know, so I'm not going to touch it. But see this, that's a dandelion. I'm okay with picking that, you know, and the greens that come along with it. So, but over here, we've got dandelion right next to this plant. And that plant's right there too. With a dandelion there, dandelion there. Anyhow, this plant is a poison hemlock. And so I'm not touching anything around here. This one I did harvest, but as you can see, it's, well, I made an excuse that that was far enough for me because it was a pretty big head. So, but see like these, these little heads, I have no interest in with them being that close. And if that poison hemlock uh, wasn't so far out right there, I'd probably harvest that one too. But anyhow, yeah, just a little bit of knowledge for you. Uh, I'm also looking out for uh, burdock because I want to harvest some burdock root and whatnot. So, and I don't know what this one is, but when you crush it, it smells like sage. So, if anyone can identify that for me, I'd appreciate it. I was just looking through my wild edibles book and I couldn't find anything that looked like this. So, but like it's got a, a somewhat fuzzy stem, alternating leaves, a flowering thing on top, and then, you know, it smells like sage. So don't know what it is. As I said, I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't know what it is. So anyhow, Bear River is still flooded. So, flooding's still pretty bad down here. It's about three feet beyond its bank right there, so. Like three feet high, higher than its normal bank. So anyhow, thanks for looking. God bless.